Okay, man, I'm just uh, showing you my lead, that uh, some of my lead anyway, probably about 100 pounds or so. Um, that I'm saving up, I practice making them into balls, but I got better molds now. But we're gonna do the, we're gonna repeat the cabin dish, except for we're gonna expand on it. You know, I think they've already proven that uh, lead attracts lead, but lead is very dense. Its density, its mass per unit volume is uh, it's pretty damn, uh, it's pretty high. I don't think I'll have anything higher than that. I might be able to do tungsten, but just listen to this shit. Some heavy shit. You don't want to get your toe caught up under that one. But, uh, so yeah, I'm going to expand these balls. I got a half of my mold going over there. I'm going to make them bigger than this because I got some thick-ass plates still. And uh, another ball is worth right there. But uh, Plus, I got three or four more batteries. So what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, sand... We're going to um, use, hopefully, tungsten, iron, aluminum, concrete. I know the densest way to make that. That's what I do is concrete. So we're going to vary it uh, several ways and get to the bottom of it. Is it a pulling force that acts equally on everything of equal mass or more mass or whatever? You know, we're going to see. Is it electrostatic? Do certain things repel each other? We're going to uh, just test it. We're going to try and test it fairly and see how much electrostatics play to me that's the main variable god bless you brian thank you brian but um anyway stay tuned coming soon cavendish expanded thank you